Hi everyone, welcome to my green closet. Today I'm gonna to show you a few thrift transformations that I've made. I wanted some comfy, simple pieces for summer. And as an added challenge, these are actually all clothes that would otherwise have ended up in the landfill. There's a really amazing company in my city that collects garments that thrift stores and charities can't sell or can't use, and they redistribute them, recycle them, or upcycle them. And I got two big garbage bags of what they call maker's items. So these are mostly pieces that are damaged or something is wrong with them in some way. So my first project was a very simple one. I found this pair of long leggings that had, I'm pretty sure, been cut by the brand. Cause I'm really not sure how else you would get this type of damage in a garment. There's a cut on either side straight through the waistband. And so I cut the waistband off and sewed on a new waistband using fabric from the lower leg, which I cut off to shorten them into a biker short length. You guys have seen these in my most recent capsule wardrobe and they've been great for summer. So then I also found this white ribbed cotton knit top with this lace up detail on the front, which I'm not really a fan of, but the fit was really nice and the fabric was in great condition, except for a few holes along the neckline and in the armpit. So my plan was to turn it around and sew it into a simple high neck tank. It was fairly easy to make. I cut the armholes off, cut the neck band off. All the holes were in a pretty good position that I could cut those pieces off. And here I am reshaping the armholes on my mannequin. Getting a nice armhole shape is the most challenging part of a project like this. I like to err on making the hole a bit smaller so I can always make it larger if needed. And then also cutting the new neckline. Then I'm pressing all the seam allowances and sewing them down, careful not to stretch it out. And here's the final tank top. And I'm also considering maybe hemming it a bit more, but overall it's just a nice classic tank top, really versatile, great for summer and easy to incorporate into my wardrobe. Okay, so then for the next project, there was this men's shirt in the bags. And the cotton fabric was actually in great condition, except for this tiny stain at the bottom. So there was quite a bit of fabric to work with and I decided to make a wrap tank. I created pattern pieces based on a wrap top that I have and I have another video on how I create patterns from existing garments. And I had to play around with it a bit but I was able to cut out both pieces from the back section. And then I created a center back seam and cut out each half of the back piece from the two front pieces. And use the sleeves to cut out the ties. And here's the top. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. There is a bit of gaping in the armhole, so I might go back in and either take it in slightly or reshape the armhole slightly to correct that. And I'm also thinking of probably naturally dyeing this piece since it is just a nice plain white cotton. And I think that would add some more interest to it. So then for the final project, this was the one that took the most work. I took these two black sheer cardigans and wanted to make them into an oversized drapey t-shirt. I used to have this really nice draped sheer t-shirt that I absolutely loved, so I was kind of going for the same thing. And these two items, even though they're made from different fibers, are close enough of a similar knit that they could work together. So the first thing I'm doing is draping pieces on my dummy to see where they sit and how they might fit together. I'm gonna use the existing sleeve on the short sleeve one for one of the sleeves, and then the other sleeve is gonna be an asymmetrical boxy sleeve. So I'm cutting out where I want my side seams to go together and where I'm gonna attach the sleeve part to the back piece. So then for the other sleeve, I'm basically just creating a big square with a hole in it so that I have these two different styles of sleeve. And then figuring out how I want the neckline. So I think I'm actually gonna use this band from the bottom of the cardigan as my neckline. I'll cut it quite small, maybe about two centimeters and then just sew that around the neckline to finish it. Now typically when you do this, you wanna measure and then you want this to be about 10% smaller so that it sits nice and flat and doesn't pop up. And here's the finished t-shirt with the neck band and the two different sleeves. I do think that if I had more fabric, it would have given me a bit more of the asymmetrical drapey look that I was going for but I still really like it. It's super light and comfy and definitely something that I'm gonna wear this summer. So I hope you enjoyed seeing these thrift transformations and I would love to know which one is your favorite. And if you are a Patreon supporter and interested in seeing the full unpacking of all the clothes, that video is available over on my Patreon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.